Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Facebook targeting. This is super important for your business because targeting is really going to make or break your ad. Um, and so we're just gonna go over the basics of targeting and how to find the right people to target on Facebook. So the first thing that you wanna do is open up Ads Manager and go to Audience Insights. You're going to find Audience Insights by here. Let me go back and I'll show you. So you click on the three bars at the top, you go to All Tools, and then we find Audience Insights. Okay, so once you're in Audience Insights, you've got this great dashboard here and you want to start filling in these things on the side so think about who you're targeting are you solely looking in the u.s are you opening that up to u.s uk australia whatever country it is that you want to do put that in here same thing with the age um i'm just going to use 25 to 50 for now because that's usually my go-to for my own target audience and i'm going to leave gender as all so from there you want to start thinking about your target audience and what types of things they might be interested in or pages they might be liking on Facebook. So usually I'll start for my own business. I'll start with Amy Porterfield. Okay, so you'll see she pops up. You're going to click on that and then you see that this whole thing populates. You've got age and gender. You can see that 77% of the people who like her page are women. You can see most of them are in the 35 to 44 year range. Um, you can also go over here to page likes and this is really where uh, the money is, um, but we'll, we'll go back to that. You can see location um, and activity. Let's go back to page likes. Page likes, this is the most important spot. So what this is, is it's showing you the different pages that people who already like Amy Porterfield or are interested in Amy Porterfield, what other pages they also like. So we've got Meet Edgar, Lead Pages, Click Funnels, Megan, Melanie Duncan. And then if you scroll down, you can also see a list of people and pages that are relevant. Number one being the most relevant, going down to the least relevant. Obviously, she's going to be number one. Um, meet Edgar, number two, Derek Halpern. So you get a lot of great insights from using audience insights within Ads Manager because now what you can do within your ad sets is create ads targeting people who like Amy Porter Porterfield and these people. So um, what I like to do to continue my research is come up back up here and let's pick, we'll say Meet Edgar or Lead Pages or Click Funnels. So I'm going to X out of Amy Porterfield and then I'm going to type in, let's see if Meet Edgar comes up. And it doesn't. So that's important to note too. A lot of pages will not come up, so don't freak out about that, but not every single page is going to load in Audience Insights. So that's why I said we'll do either that or Lead Pages. So. Fortunately, lead pages doesn't come up either. Let's try click funnels. Click funnels doesn't come either. Let's try Derek Halpern. All right, so Derek Halpern does pop up, so we're going to click on his name. And for some reason, this didn't work. All right, let's try something else. All right, so let's try James Wedmore. He comes up. There we go. So this is you continuing to do your research on your target audience. So we typed in James Wedmore because he came up for Amy Porterfield's audiences. And now you can see people, so you can, again, you can see the demographics here of who likes his page and how old they are. Page likes, you can see that people who like James Wedmore also like these pages. Life on Fire was also on Amy Porterfield's. Um, and then all of these other things, digital marketer, and you can scroll down and see based on relevance, what's really relevant to his page. So you're just going to go through and probably do this for anywhere from six to 10 names. So you pick one of these things, you're going to X out of James Wedmore and then type in something else. So let's try digital marketer. Nope. 
I think, did we say life on fire? So life on fire does come up. And then you can look and see what pages people who like life on fire like. So you're just starting to make a list of relevant pages and make put that in a notebook somewhere. And then that way, when you start making your ad and creating your ad sets, you can target all of these different pages. And from there, you can test. So you'll be able to see how your ad does with an Amy Porterfield audience versus a James Wedmore audience and see which does better or if they both do the same, if they both do well. And then if they both do well, then I would suggest lumping them together into one ad set. But that's getting a little more advanced. That'll be in a future training on Facebook ads and creating Facebook ads. Today, I just wanted to talk about the power of audience insights within Ads Manager because it really is such an amazing tool for you to use and see demographics for pages, see what people are interested in. Um, you can see things like job titles, that those are things you can target within Facebook too. So it's really, really a powerful tool. My number one tip is to just start typing in pages and interest, page, uh, interest groups and see what comes up for page likes and start doing your research there and make note of every single page. You will want to go to each page. If you click on this, it'll take you to the actual Facebook page. And from there, you can do a little bit more research and see what they're all about, to see what they're posting. And is it something that kind of aligns with what your ad is about or who you're trying to target? So that's pretty much it for Audience Insights. Try it out. Try Audience Insights for yourself and let me know how it goes. If you guys have any comments or questions, definitely leave them below. I am running an upcoming training on Facebook ads and how you can use Facebook ads or any kind of paid advertising to get clients for your business and have a seamless system in place that you don't have to worry anymore about getting clients. You, you can just use Facebook ads and get you the right people, the right clients the people that you really want to work with. So I will link to that training below. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and make sure to subscribe for future videos and trainings. Thanks for watching, guys.